Hello, YouTube friends. Uh, Tom Matthews from uh, Matthews Engineering here. Um, as some of you who know me uh, know, I've been uh, lately been trying to figure out how to uh, make uh, masks for the uh, virus crisis, and um, and these I I learned how to make these by watching uh, Deaconess Hospital video. Uh, Deaconess Hospital is out of Evansville, Indiana, and they showed how to make these, and they're they're pretty easy to make. Um, I just made these out of some 100% cotton fabric. Um, and a lot of people are trying to make masks. Um, I've ordered some N95 masks about a month ago from China, and uh, they, there's a DHL tracking number, but they're still not here yet, so they're in short supply. But I thought, you know, these masks probably aren't as good as N95. Actually, they're probably much worse, but they're better than nothing. And I, I was thinking, how could I measure this? And I remembered um, that I had uh, years ago bought at a, at a swap meet, <laughs> I had bought this uh, particle counter. And um, this is an interesting tool. It's, uh, they're mostly used in semiconductor fabs. And I worked for National Semiconductor and Texas Instruments, so I knew what this was. I thought, oh, that's a neat tool. Um, and it's been on my shelf most of this time. But I realized, I bet I can measure uh, the the efficacy of uh, filter materials for masks. And so um, I've got a couple materials here we'll try. I'll show you how I'm measuring them with this. If you have materials that you think are abundant, easy to sew, and you'd like me to test, let me know and, and I'll see if I can test those. Um, okay, so what does this machine do? It's got a, um, there's basically a quarter inch hose barb inlet in there uh, where it draws air in and there's a laser that uh, counts uh, each particle of dust. And um, there's some filters in there. You can set it to measure uh, at different particle sizes. The smallest particle size is a half micron. I've got it on one micron right now. It'll do 0.7 microns. It'll do um, three micron and five micron. Um, the N95 masks are, I think, expect a 0.3 micron, and this will go down to 0.5, so uh, if I can get an N95 mask, I'm going to check it with this and see if I agree that it blocks 95% of the particles. Uh, but I've done some experiments um, where I think I can actually measure this. I'm sure that the pros at 3M, you know, have a, have a, a very uh, technical way to do this, and uh, this is not that. Um, but this simple machine um, is interesting for evaluating these materials. I'll show you how it works here. Um, right now I've got it set on one micron um, particle size and um, this adapter I just have open to the air. We're in a shop, I'm just using the air in the shop which is probably pretty dusty because it is a workshop after all. Um, uh, but let's go ahead and do a count on one micron. This will count for 10 seconds. And so now it's counting uh, the particles one micron and larger. And this will give us a baseline for what the air quality is in this shop. It's, uh, so 155 is, uh, is our baseline. Um, now let's try, let's try uh, one of my homemade masks and see if it helps at one micron. And I'm just putting it on there. There's a one inch uh, circular hole so that it doesn't make much back pressure and I'm holding it down there with that, uh, with that circular die. Let's see what this does. So that, about a third, so 66% uh, effective at a micron, um, which, you know, not very good, but definitely better than nothing, and, and certainly will keep a sneeze, uh, you know, from going out into the room so so these are pretty good and I, I'm gonna keep making more of these uh, for anybody that wants them but um, uh, I'm kind of on a quest to find even better materials this is just two ply cotton um, let's go to the next material so this is a filter material basically what I did is I took one of these Merv 13 furnace filters and cut it up to see what it would do and uh, it is rated at one micron, uh, MERV 13 is supposed to do 85% um, or better. Why am I testing that? This is, gives me a way 
to see if this, you know, test technique is is correct. So let's let's put that on there. Um, I think it's supposed to draw with that side down. I'll put my uh, cover on. Let's go ahead and see what we get. I think our baseline was 155. Um, I'll give you a closer look at this. So uh, 15 out of 155, that's doing about 90%. Uh, the filter promised 85 or better, so I would say at one micron, that's in spec. Um, so a really interesting tool. Uh, let me know if you have ideas for materials that would be good. Ideal materials are something that's easy to, to you know, sew and, and put together, um, and I'll test those. When I get an N95 mask, I'm going to test it. I have tested things on the 0.5 micron scale, and almost all these materials I have here are terrible at that level. They let about everything through. An N95 mask is supposed to be better. That's about, uh, they're supposed to be good at 0.3 microns, so if I can test at 0.5, I'll be in the vicinity of, of knowing if the materials are good. Even at a micron, that's going to stop a lot of sneeze droplets and large particles. So. Uh, so don't toss these masks aside and keep, please keep using them. Um, and uh, give me your feedback and please uh, remember to subscribe. Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering.